here's the thing. They always say that you got to be there. You only have two hours. But it's like, niece, nephew, you didn't create an experience. Right. This, this is a club. This is not a restaurant now. This is a lounge, bitch. You got music going, food going, drinks going. Bitch, I'm not staying here for two hours. Bitch, I'm about to be here all afternoon or all night. You can't put no time limit on it. But this young lady had this video, and I came across. I said, you know what? She ain't. As Funky Don even says, I'm with you when you're right. Right. Go ahead, Ma. You got oh, it? Or oh, you oh, want yeah. me to hit it? Oh, yeah, you got it. Okay. I know this I, is going to piss people off, and I know this sounds really, really bad, but I have made the executive decision that I'm not going to certain Black-owned restaurants. And before y'all come on here getting mad at me, y'all need to be mad at these establishments because they're the ones who are taking your dollar and trying to get every cent out of you, not me. Number one, I will not be going to restaurants that charge me for parking. If it's not a parking deck or outside street parking, there is no reason why I should be paying for parking to support your establishment. Number two, I will not be going to any more restaurants that charge over $25 for a basic breakfast. Pancakes, sausage, and grits should not be $26. You, you tripping. The automatic 20% gratuity, and it's just me and my mama. I understand for parties that are bigger than four or six, but for just two people or just myself, that's ridiculous. And then on top of that, some of these restaurants add another fee, which is like a service fee. Yeah, no. And let me add that it wasn't that I wasn't going to give 20%. It's just that it gives me this vibe that black people don't tip, you know? And last but not least, and I mean this with the bottom of my heart, I do not want to hear music all the time not no loud music i invited my friend out to tell her about my breakup but she can't hear me because shake that monkey is blasting through the speakers i just wish y'all would take note of that we don't we don't want that i don't if you're in atlanta and you have any recommendations for black owned restaurants that i should try let me know girl not shake that monkey <laughs> girl that lady said she's trying to talk about her breakup and shake that monkey it's playing too loud go back to the but she's not lying. Because let me explain to you. Let me explain something to you. Because the majority of these black restaurants, they have gratuity. Because them hoes don't be doing their motherfucking job. And, and they still have to get paid. So that's why I feel like them hoes add the gratuity. Them because half of the time, them hoes don't come back to the table until it's come time to go get the check. And that's she, what I'm trying to tell you. And, and one she more didn't thing, lie about she nothing. She didn't. She didn't. And, and, another, and another thing I'm not doing. And another thing my lawyers want me to say. One more thing my lawyers want me to say. <laughs> <laughs> I am not paying at the beginning of the meal. You know how they come take your order and they want to take they want you to pay oh yeah yeah before yeah, you, they even bring yeah. the food out okay well let's talk about it that don't work for me because oh, i will call, oh, gonna, I, will, I will call american express and still decline I, I, it oh i'll pay with my american express everywhere i go oh, Every, with everywhere the the no it can have numbers on it because the number that i need is on the back you know? <laughs> Yeah, I didn't. Oh, no. Look, I didn't quite get the experience right. I was expecting. This is Madison Chanel Renee Hinton of RDE Multimedia Group Incorporated, because that, because FYI, that's what all my motherfucking funds roll through. RDE Multimedia <laughs> Group <laughs> Incorporated. Um, one of my employees was out. <laughs> And unfortunately, uh, the service that wasn't provided for them. Uh, one moment, ma'am, we'll check. Okay, thanks. You've been credited. We'll investigate. <laughs> Get it how you live, bitch. Let me explain something to you. <laughs> the other day, I went and bought two televisions. Oh. I bought a frame TV. You know those TVs where it looks like art when it's not on. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. I bought oh, another the real expensive one? <laughs> they don't really cost that much. All right. <laughs> Or the IRS might be watching. They always watch. <laughs> but if you pay your taxes, th that part. And if you, if you, if your things go through your business, because I don't make but eleven thousand five hundred dollars a year. Girl, I am barely making it. That's all I make per year. Now, when y'all tap on RDE one time, me to do that don't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> Oh. Get my children Get my out of here. children out of here, out of the country. <laughs> oh. They don't have anything to do with me. I bought two TVs the other day, and when I tell you them hoes tried me, the manager at that store, and I'm not even going to say your name, but her name is Deborah. <laughs> but I'm not going to say the store name. She tried me. And she hung up on me. I called American Express quickly. Please get that off my bill. Yes, get my children. Both out of, of the TVs. Bitch. And you were you at home with them? A walk, watching on the screen. They're, they're still they're still hung up at the house. Correct. 
And if they don't get my mattress here on time tomorrow, bitch. <laughs> Y'all don't get my mattress here on time tomorrow. <laughs> we gonna have an issue. Ah, we gonna have no issue. Oh my American god! Express gonna handle that. Bad, bad. <laughs> Some of the merchants are on to American Express that they won't even take an American Express. Oh yes. When oh no, see, we don't accept when that. When you see the girl say we don't take American Express, I'm like, okay, girl, I can't, I can't patron here. Yeah. <laughs> you do, you do bad business. <laughs> I can't commune here. You do bad business, girl. <laughs> yes, you ma'am. don't take an American Express. Yes, ma'am. You do bad business. I have to go someplace else. Let me let y'all hold something. I don't take American Express. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody come with you to with American, I don't Express? accept American Express. <laughs> I know what your plan is. Woo! I know your plan. Oh god. Oh god. You are me. I know you. I, I, you are me. I am you. I know your plan. Oh. I don't take American Express. Oh. We no accepting. No, no. Jimmy no live here. No. Jimmy no live here. Me no speaking. Me no speaking. speaking. <laughs> me no speaking. Me no speaking. <laughs> American Express. American Express don't so, play. So, so, for, so for you oh. girls who got your who, because oh. uh, there's levels to American Express. There are. There's oh, the green goodness. card that they give everyone once. Once you fuck up with American Express, bitch, bitch let me tell you're you. finished. You're finished. Oh, really? Finished. Fuck up with American Express, you're finished. Do you hear word mark? I mean, well, American. <laughs> <laughs> you get the green one. <sighs> That's the blue one. Then when you get up into this area, you get a black one. That's the titanium. The titanium one. That's the one you got. Yes. Ah! That's yes. That's that's the one that I have. Oh my Legra God. has several of them. <laughs> Let's be clear. Legra has several of them. <laughs> if it's one woman that I want to be like, Legra. that's Legra. The rest of you hoes who tell me I want to be like y'all, no, you don't qualify. <laughs> <laughs> you don't qualify, girl. Your pussy ain't did nothing for you, girl, but gave you ugly kids, bitch, a cheap ass motherfucking nigga, bitch, and goddamn yeast. <laughs> bitch, it ain't got nothing you getting that. Really mad. I don't want none of that. Really mad. I can do that by myself. I can do bad all by myself <laughs> with my nuts. <laughs> so, oh, Lord. bro, baby. Um. <clears throat> yes, indeed. But here's my thing. But I, I want. I, I have yeah. some things I want to talk about. Now she talked about why grits and grits and breakfast and eggs and this is twenty five dollars. I'm over here like, girl. You sitting over here talking about your grit, bitch. You could go, to, bitch. Why are you don't want us? And I, I don't mean to call her a bitch, but this is just is having a conversation. Right. But bitch, you mean to tell me you don't want to spend twenty? You don't want to go down there and spend twenty five dollars and get you some eggs, grits, and hash and all that. Girl, no, stuff. not for no eggs, grits, and hash, girl. I'm gonna need a piece of fish with that for twenty five dollars. Right. Bitch, more than bitch. That. but but Craig, come on, that like you could have, you could have, you could have, you could have went over twenty five dollars for grits, you for grits, grits, and pancakes, for grits, and eggs, and toast. You for twenty five dollars. You could have went over there to Big Mama's freezer, bitch, and pulled out two <laughs> pieces of tilapia, deep fried them, and girl had you some. You could have had that at home, and you didn't even have to put gas in your car to go no motherfucking where. That's true. That's I'm gonna true. need a piece of fish, though. Yeah, you got it, Maddie. Really, so twenty five dollars just for, for or at least I'm a mimo- or at least a mimosa. Well, girl, that's probably what it was. It was mimosa, eggs, grits. It's just, there's something she's leaving out. Oh, okay. Well, if she's leaving out stuff, then yeah. And then they want to skip you on the eggs, and I don't even eat eggs. Twenty five dollars is if it's if it's given shrimp and grits. Right. Yeah. That ain't eggs and toast. That's not eggs and toast. That, that's. Well, that's where you need to. If that's that's you need to be within your means. That's where you need to go. That's where you need to be within your means. Girl, there are things that are with like I don't go ah! to six. That's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. Being queer is and that a lifestyle? That's not like that's life. And that's a lifestyle. That's a lifestyle. So if your lifestyle consists of you having grits, eggs, a piece of fish, and motherfucking toast, bitch, and you don't want to go over twenty five dollars, your lifestyle doesn't consist of that place. That's that Denny's. Well, Maddie, but Maddie, it also the food also has to be worth that twenty five. Correct. Though. That's you Denny's. You can't give you can't give mediocre eggs and grits. That's and shit true. Like that. Exactly, Maddie. You know damn well you American Express would be right on the. I didn't order that, but that's why I go to him with the American Express <laughs> everywhere. And when I pull up to a new spot, I pull up with my American Express. Now, in her defense, twenty percent with two people, you shouldn't be assessing no gratuity. 
It should be four or six because people or more. Because the problem it really should be six. The problem is, them hoes don't do their job to make their tip. So, them hoes Correct. have to put the gratuity in because if you not doing your job to make your tip, bitch, how you gonna get paid? How you gonna get your own That's job? right. And then, to be fair, there are people who go and sit down and eat and don't want to tip. That's I went true. to school with a girl who was like that. I'm yeah, just, I'm not those people. I, I, I'm not gonna say her name. Marita the Dooms. <laughs> but, uh, What's her name? Marita the Dooms. Marita Dooms. Marita Dooms. You is tired for that out there in DC, Baltimore. Right. Marita Doom. I told Marita Doom. Greg, they want to say a Marita Doom. I said, girl, <laughs> I am not going out to eat with you. She said, it ain't my responsibility to take care of these people's lifestyle. They need to get a job to pay more than two dollars an hour. Now that's hard. <laughs> that, 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 that's elitism. That is elitist. <laughs> that is elitist. <laughs> that was elitist. I, I, I'm telling you, when I start tipping, I start my my tip. When I, it all depends on the quality. Of restaurant. Because you know our oh, little spot that we go to. Oh, what? Wait, what did he say? He started at ten. Oh. Your tip is the, what? Why is it? Yeah. No. Okay. What? Well, that's what the, you mean. No, he said he starts at ten. When I'm at a, when I'm at a Denny's, my tip starts at maybe twenty five dollars. I don't got the points you have. Okay. <laughs> but when I'm at a Denny's, no, I listen. Got, I don't got the points you have. So my but, no, but I'm just saying, when I'm at a Denny's, <laughs> now, how much is the bill? I don't know. Girl. At a Denny's, girl, I want to know how much you. Hey, come on, man. Like Seventy five dollars, friend. Don't, on, don't, don't say the name. Wait a minute. Don't let's say the go. name of our restaurant. Now let's be. We're, we're so we're stars. Like we're no, so, you're a star. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a star. Go ahead. I'm not gonna be sitting in a restaurant, girl. Okay, like when I go to Joey's, right? I uh-huh. eat at Joey's in LA. I like eating at Joey's in LA. The guy comes like I don't like Mo. You've been with us. Yes, I have. Like you know they. When they see me pull up, they see I get out of my black car. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I get out of the black car. Yeah. They no, 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 me. no, no. No, say it right. You get out of what? I get out of my black car, girl. I get out of my <laughs> tip toward in my heel. Tip toward in my heel, girl. <laughs> and what happens? So I tiptoe to the door. Like, so they see me, or either they'll see G. Like, they'll see G uh-huh. or they'll see Mo or somebody that they used to see in yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Girl, this doing it. Girl, I wish that hoe would have just curled it. Come on over here, Chi and fish. You're getting on my nerves, girl. So they'll so they'll see, you know, and, and then like, you know, so the guy the person that'll come seek me, because like sometimes there's a line and they'll see me, whatever. And they'll I slide them a hundred dollars. I've done that. Like I've slid them a hundred bucks. Like if I have a hundred, if I have a loose hundred dollars in my pocket, mm-hmm. I slide them a hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and they'll go, "Bitch, we sit, girl. It's mm-hmm. champagne. It's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and that's the, you're a grand girl. But 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 but, but, I, but this is I want I want premiere. When I go, I only go to places service. That's, exquisite that's gonna, service. That's going to, to when we pull up to the airport, we have no problem. Nah. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't doing no way in. I ain't doing. I'm not doing all of that. Mm-hmm. Nope. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. So I but I treat my people right. So that they can do the same for me, right? You know, so I don't. It, it, and then I leave a tip for the folks. So when I come back, I want them to be excited to see and me. Always right. be excited because you coming through because they know that hey, she gonna take care of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I work in food, so this is what I know. Right. When you come in there, you spend money. You gonna catch the people who got the money. Right. The hoes that come in there don't spend the money. Bitch, fuck them hoes. We right. know y'all. But I want to know what she's saying about the about the Denny's. Now, how much is this tip at the Denny's? It's probably twenty between twenty to twenty five. Okay, between twenty to twenty five dollars. Yeah, cause I'm. Oh well, yeah, well, 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 that's good. You don't been out to eat with me, bitch. Yeah, you know well, what we right. That's you what I know. We, you know what we give. That's what I know. That table be loaded. That's because we we trying everything on the, this. The first one, eating three, out eating out is an experience. It's so yeah, it is. especially with me. Yeah. <laughs> especially with me. Yeah. And, and I and think so that that's service. the time that like you we try have things. All bro. the motherfucking services that I take. From, from right. appetizer to you, dessert. You want to try everything on not everything, but you want to try a lot of stuff on the menu. That's how you. Know what I want to get, like, if and you if culture, you culture this, yourself. If this becomes my spot, right? So, you know, now with a bit, so what you call it? You had it that first time went to the, the, the money bar place in California, but she had fun. Look, bitch, it was, bitch, it was a, yeah. just loaded, like, yeah. every, like, every place, like, when when I show up to the restaurant, the people, hey, TS, yeah, hey, they know, or they gonna give me the best, the them service, we'll be like, oh, bitch, I gotta get this table, yeah, that's what I want. I yeah. want you to be battling about this, table. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
For sure. I want you to battle about this motherfucker right. table because, bitch, I'm gonna take it because I know this Who's is your job. Give me their services. I, I, I know this is your job. I don't look down on you because no. this is your job. I know that how much you make an hour. I also want you to have a greatest. You go in there with a point like this. Yeah. Job, I want you to have a great experience. Yeah. Well, you know, because I might this might be the only this might be the spot that I come to right. to eat. You feel and stop going there with all that attitude. As long as the service is exceptional. Right. Now when they but y'all need to stop going there with all that attitude too. No, right. they go like when them bitches don't know me and they I'm like, baby, you I, I tell them. I, I tell them what I'm like, baby, you fucking up real bad. Real bad. You you may not know who I am, and that's fine, but you fucking up real, 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 real bad. Mm, you fucking and up I'm actually bad. I'm actually I, let me pay this check. I'm ready to go. Right. You fucking up bad. You taking too long. You over there lollygagging with them people over there. You giving this. You doing this over there. I don't want any of it. Nothing. Because I'm not sending it back. I'm not getting. I'm not coming back with floor. Yeah, Maddie will leave quick. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, Maddie will leave. Because I know I'm coming in there to have us. Ex- you, I'm get you the experience you get with me. The dining experience you get. And yeah. if anybody that's in the comment section that has ever waited on me and served me, y'all know that I'm telling the truth. Do we get an experience? Because I want you to. I, this, I'm pl- regardless of how much y'all see me read bitches that don't fuck with me or read motherfucking maggot assholes that feel some type of with me, bitch. I'm a I'm a great person, yeah. and I, I I pride myself in being that like whatever. Yeah. Like, we go, Especially if you're at the restaurant, you know, mm-hmm. you know, you working food, you're gonna try to do what you in do. food, yeah. whatever yeah. service. Yeah, yeah. Like like what like whatever service it is, like whatever service, whatever service yes. that you do, and you you you. They work in the service and you providing me a service. Yes. I want you to be excited when I come to the place. I'm not trying to impugn your dignity. Like no. I'm I'm really trying to be like as much as I read yeah. your hoes about being in cubicles, I really don't feel that way. Right. Exactly. Only about the girls that are in cubicles reading me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. That's it. If you're in a cubicle and I'm reading a cubicle girl, I'm not talking about you. But if you feel the same I'm way. talking about a bitch that's in a cubicle that's reading a bitch that's, that lives her life because she is T.S. Bad. I'm talking about that bitch. Yeah. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> right. So don't. So when y'all see me reading a cubicle girl, they deserve that read. <laughs> A girl telling me I'm not an actor, I'm not a this or the other, whatever. And girl, this is, you know, with her opinion. So my opinion is, girl, but that's you at that cubicle. I'm not. According to the SAG, to the SAG Academy, bitch, I am. And according to that residual I got from that job, I did. You know, we're not the same, girl. Right. I'm not better than you, but I'm just not in a cubicle. But that don't mean I'm reading a cubicle, girl. Right. So y'all got to start taking offense. To stuff when I be tearing the hoe up, y'all got to look at what a hoe done said about me. You know what I'm saying? Right. For it, for them to get that, that's just it. I'm not talking about the bitch. I used to be a bitch. I used to be a cubicle girl. I said never again. And that's why I like having multiple streams of income and like having multiple. Like I like being on streaming, some TV. Some this, some I like being on little networks, big network. I like being everywhere because mm-hmm. I don't like being. I feel like a cubicle. A, I lived a cubicle life for a while, and it had wow. me. It had me con- confined, confined to that. And it's just like I was miserable going to the, doing the same thing every day. I get the opportunity, and I'm not bragging about anything. I get the opportunity to travel the earth because I am T. S. Madison. Right. I don't go past row six because I am T.S. Madison. I could slide a motherfucker a hundred dollar tip because I am T.S. Madison. It's like I, I, mm. I'm, I, I love being T.S. Madison. I love it. Yeah. So y'all can't be feeling no kind of way when I be reading a bitch that be motherfucking trying to service me. I read hoes from a place where I done been at. I done been a miserable hoe in the cubicle. Like, girl, I got to come to this. Oh, Thank you for you. calling Bridget B and D and D. This is, you know, I'm going to have you. Thank you for calling Bridget BD and D. Thank you for calling Bridget BD and D. Chanel, I'm going to help you. I Thank you for South calling Bridget BD. I had to do this all day. I couldn't stand it. And if you are in that job or any job and you don't like it, change it. Don't keep going. Don't waste your life away going to a job week after week, month after month, year after year for a job that you just don't like. Okay, like, that the only thing that got? It's not. It's, that's a scarcity mentality. That's not all you have. Your thoughts create your destiny. 